Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a fast zoom from Google Earth Map right into your video. So without further ado, let's start. As a prereq, you need to have a video to which you want to zoom in and you need to know where the footage was actually taken. In my case, it was shot at Praia do Castelejo. and this is the view I want to zoom into. So I need to search a similar view in Google Earth. By the way, in this video, I describe how to use Google Earth. You'll find the link in the description. If you hold shift key and scroll with the mouse, you will tilt up and down. By holding Ctrl key and scrolling, you will pan left and right. Okay, so this is more or less the same view. Let's try to search a city nearby, start recording and hit search. Save and generate the video. As mentioned before, in the previous video, I guide you step by step how to record a video in Google Earth. In DaVinci Resolve, put the Google Earth video and your target video in the timeline. As you can see, we need to reverse the playback of the Google Earth video. So in the inspector, search for speed change section and click reverse. Now it's okay. Next, slow the video down a bit. I decreased the speed to 60%. So tap Ctrl R key and drag the video to the right until you see 60%. You need to move up the second clip for a moment because it's in the way. Exactly. Let's move it back. We need to trim the Google Earth video so it ends without any pause. So search for the last frame the video is moving and trim to the right. Now what I like to do is a speed ramp of my target video. Because the Google Earth video is too fast comparing to my drone footage, so a good idea would be to transition with speed ramp. If you don't know the idea of speed ramping, check out my video, link in the description. Ctrl R again. Okay, so let's say somewhere here we will slow down our speed ramp, create new speed point, move the speed point to the right, select the smooth option instead of linear, Let's check it out. That's fine. Now let's get rid of the black sky and replace it with something similar that we see in the target video. Let me cut the clip right in the place where the sky is revealing. That would be somewhere about here. And open fusion page. Merge a new background. Let's make it horizontal gradient. Change color to blue. Now search for Delta Care node. Connect media into it. You can add a new node by holding Alt key and dragging the line. So let's make it tidy like this. Now click the Delta key here, preview it on the left. So tap one and pick the color by dragging this tool. Try to select the color that is working best for you. I have selected the darkest area of the sky. Now switch the view mode to matte and in the mat tab, play with the threshold to get rid of all the whitish spots in the sky. You can also increase blur a bit and in the key tab, I've noticed that pre-blur setting also nicely smooth out the unwanted elements. Once you're more or less satisfied with the result, add matte control node. Connect media into it and delta keyer. In delta keyer, switch back to final result view and in matte control, check post multiply image and select combine alpha. Okay, let's merge matte control after our background node. In general, the matte control allows you to fine tune your matte even more. Let's preview it on the left and decrease gamma. It looks good, only the sky is affected, but the color seems fake. Let's pick the sky color of the target video so I will quick add it to the notes panel, preview it on the left and in the background node, I will pick the color of the real sky. Okay, we can delete it and let me correct the gradient so it's not so dark. Let's compare the skies in the edit page. It looks too bright. Yeah, it's better now. Okay, let's create clouds. But first, select clips with the Google Earth video, right click and choose new compound clip. So we have Google Earth video again as a one whole clip, but with the sky replaced. 
So if we switch to Fusion page, we don't see our composition with the sky, because it was encapsulated in the new compound clip that we've just created. You don't need to create a new compound clip, I just wanted to have a clean state in the Fusion page for the purpose of this tutorial. Ok, so we're gonna create clouds effect using fast noise node, but we will incorporate some 3D features as well. So let's say we want the clouds appear from the frame 19, add fast noise node, you can click this icon or search in the select tool, shift space, tap 1 to preview on the left. Add polygon mask and draw a shape you like. In the inspector, increase the soft edge and decrease the brightness a bit. I will adjust also the sieve parameter. Now add Shape 3D node. Connect your cloud to it and preview on the left. Next connect Merge 3D node. We will need that to connect more clouds. And finally Renderer 3D in order to be able to merge the 3D world into our composition. So let's merge it now. Yeah, we see our first cloud. But we need to correct the rotation so it's better aligned with the ground. So click the Shape 3D node and the inspector in the Transform tab, adjust translation and rotation. Let's move it down and tilt. Next, we need keyframe scale and position, so it looks as we were flying through. Let's check frame by frame how it looks. And we can create more clouds, so copy paste these three nodes and connect it to the Merge 3D. Again, correct location to your liking, keyframe it, and it's basically it. Clouds effect is ready. In the renderer 3D in the settings you can check motion blur if you like. Before we move on, let's render in place our clip. So right click and render in place. It will significantly speed up your editing and consume less resources. Now let's try animate waves so the whole fly looks more realistic. We're gonna do it in the color page. Let's say from this point the waves should look like moving. So in the power window, draw a polygon mask right above the waves. Go to tracker and track forward and backward. The tracking is not perfect, but it will work. So now open effects, search for fast noise and apply it to the node. Just drag and drop it. Change preset to water surface. As you can see, there are lots of parameters to play with. I will only decrease the seed to 0.06. Also, don't forget to increase the softness of the mask. Yes, the waves appear to be moving. It's not perfect, but enough to deceive human eye. And finally, in the edit page, add adjustment clip. Trim it so it's only above the ending of the Google Earth video and speed ramp effect. So let me enable Retime View to better see it. OK. From the OpenFX, apply Zoom Blur to the adjustment clip. Make it fade in and out by dragging these points. Then apply also Directional Blur. Adjust the strength and angle to your needs. Let's preview it frame by frame. Adjustment clip lasts too long, I will make it shorter. Yeah, that's better. We are almost done, I will add one more thing, which is zoom in video transition. And I will apply it only to the Google Earth video, and make it 3 frames long only. But this is not all, if you play it frame by frame, you will notice it's not correct, it's zooming too fast. We can correct that in Fusion. In the inspector, in zoom in transition effect, you need to click fusion icon. It will open fusion page with our zoom in transition. Now double click zoom in group to see what's inside. Select dissolve node and in the inspector, in modifiers tab, change curve shape in and out to none. Now if we play it frame by frame, you can see the zoom in is more linear and in that case it looks better. In my opinion, of course. Hope you liked it. Tap subscribe to not miss out upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.